Is it is it hard having a baby mama? A baby mum? What, as well as my missus? Um, yeah. I mean, because I know there's a lot of drama that goes on sometimes with, with yeah, baby Yeah, no, it's definitely it's, it's painful, man. And obviously, but it could be a lot worse. Mm. You know what I mean? I can have a lot worse than that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, just, it's, it's as easy as you make it. At the minute, it's hard, isn't it? Because man gone through court cases and that. So mm. it's just been hard and that. And then she had injunctions on man and petty than that. Like, do you know what I mean? So it's just long. Um, it was harder for me in that sense. But it's, it's still easy. Like, it's, yeah, it's just, as long as you don't cause them no dramas, they ain't going <laughs> to cause you dramas. You get me? Oh, fair enough. Can you, can you talk about the court case a little? Yeah, so my I went through the court case and that um she basically I was with her, I left her, things was gone fine, and then one day she just disappeared and that. And I was like, what? Like when we was meant to pick them up for the like school term holiday or something, you know, like the week they have off and like the break mm. and that. And I picked them up and booked them for swimming lessons on that for the week. So obviously she had a daughter at the time that wasn't mine and then obviously i had my my eldest which is my son and, that. and then obviously um yeah she um yeah i took i basically took her daughter on as my own mm. i was like 17 just found out that well just had my kid that was 17 she just had my my first kid and that mm. and um yeah i was with her like a year and that and then obviously this happened so I'd been looking after her daughter before my son was even around for like a good year or two. So she was like three when my son was born. Oh. Do you know what I mean? So I was like 17 with a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Like, oh. it was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you can't even, I'm not even old enough for this shit. Like, so yeah, yeah. it was hard, didn't it? And then obviously, mum was young, I tried to make it work and that, it obviously it didn't work. And that was just, it's one of them things, isn't it? Relationships don't always work. Boom, so man left, everything was fine. I was still looking after her daughter and my son. Every oh, every other weekend, I'd have them over my house. Yeah. I'd see them every Tuesday, Thursday night or the evening. And that's how it was for like a good six months after I split out of her. Mm. Good six to eight months. And then one day, man's booked the thing in, gone to pick them up. They just disappeared. What do you mean? Oh, disappeared, man, it's gone. Like I'm knocking on the door, no one's there, looking through the window, all the stuff's gone. Like, oh. ringing, block my number, block my socials, everything. It just disappeared, bro. Like, I'm thinking, what the fuck? So, I left it, because I'm thinking, oh, she just, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking, I'll just leave it, see what happens. Yeah. But then a few months gone by, and obviously, man's started feeling it. I'm like, nah, like, man needs to see my son, bro. Like, he must be, like, coming up to two now. I was getting a bit mad, like. Yeah. I had him up until a year. He, she'd been gone for like six months, so he must have been like a year and a half. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, bro, like, what the fuck's my son? Like, mm. I missed six months of his life. Like, so then I started taking to court and that. And I was like, I need to go court, find out where the fuck she is. Like, is she not, I can't get hold of her. Not like everyone I was speaking to is blanking me. Like, it was one of them. I'm thinking, what the That's fuck? That's crazy. So then I went through court proceedings. They're trying to find her. It's gone through weeks and weeks of court proceedings. Every time I'm going court, I'm spending like a thousand to £2,000 for the solicitors. Damn. Because obviously, I not get legal aid. I'm not on benefits. I'm not on that. Like, mm. I can get it for free. Yeah. But she gets it for free. Yeah. yeah. So she, so, can, she can just yeah. milk the system like some waste, man. Mm. So I'm there like, shit. If, now I've started it. i got to finish it. If I don't, I'm a deadbeat. Like, in my eyes, I'm a dickhead dad. If I'm, I can't start it and then say, oh, I, I've got to stop now. Like, so I had to keep going and my pockets was feeling brass, bro. I was going oh. shit. And I'm getting nowhere because they're not finding her. Yeah. Every it's time they go missing. Yeah, every time yeah. they find her or they <laughs> the police get her on a credit card or whatever and they know what area she's in, they'll serve her at the door and she'll go to another place. Damn. And moved. So this happened like three times. We went North Lincolnshire, somewhere else. Then they found her in Scotland, didn't it? And then I'm like, raw. Oh. Scotland, <laughs> you're doing in Scotland, G, like what? Like, so I obviously been like 10 months now, I've not seen my son. So I'm mad, like I'm to the point it's hurting, like man, I, I don't know where he is, if he's safe. Mm. I'm hearing stories, social services are finding things out, saying that all sorts of madnesses, while I'm going through this call, I'm finding all sorts, I'm thinking, nah, like, is my son safe? Like, mm. And then obviously while I'm going through all this, I was trying to, get contact to see my son 
as well as her daughter, because obviously I raised her. So at the time, her daughter, like, I, I was young, innit? I was 17, 18, yeah. coming up to 18. I, re- I just raised your daughter, bro, for like two years. What are you talking about? Like, in my eyes, I want to see them both. Yeah, yeah. But it got to the point where now she started, where they found her in Scotland, she had no other choice. They've, like, served her fully, da 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 um, they've um, brung it back now, and man basically had to do a madness, go over to Scotland. So, like, yeah. Well, basically what happened was, so the, all this has happened, the, the, she's in Scotland, I got a phone call after man's gone through all the court cases. They finally tracked her down in Scotland. Um, Who is this, the police? Or? Yeah, the, yeah. Well, the police and well, the court obviously system. the courts and all of that. Yeah. They've, they've ordered it to, for the police to find her basically yeah so they've done that found her the courts have run me back like we found her we served her um she will be coming to the next hearing blah 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 i'm like all right cool no problem the, 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 the next hearing come she didn't come um so i'm like what you served her bro like she's breaking the law now like if this was me i'll be in jail yeah, you would have locked me up yeah. you would have locked me up i'm a male like you would have locked me up for missing a court hearing like what are you talking about yeah You've been served by the people. They've served you and you still missed. That was me. I'll be locked. So I'm getting mad at the court now. I'm like, nah, you lot are violating me. Like, you're making me out to be an idiot. Like, I'm not having it. So anyway, come to it now. She missed it. So I've put in a mad complaint. Duh, 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 duh. I get a phone call like two o'clock in the afternoon from social services in Scotland. Hello there, blah, blah, blah. Um, we've got your, we're going to pick up your son from nursery or something. Or, yeah nursery or something um you're gonna have to come and meet us at um the airport in scotland at five o'clock bro i'm like bro it's two o'clock in the afternoon mate yeah you want me to get to fucking Got scotland three in three hours <laughs> they're like yeah yeah sorry um we're going to get him now you're gonna have to meet us so i'm like, right, shit fuck it let me get a plane so i've booked a plane got a plane managed to get there just before five by the time i've got out gone through met them showed them passports who i am blah 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 yeah the last plane flies out at like half five from that airport. It's like a small airport. Yeah. Inverness or something. Last plane flew out at like half five. But I booked the last plane back for me and my son. But we missed it. So I didn't have to book. The closest the hotel, which is like a premier around the corner, for me and him, which is like another 300 pound just wow. for one night. Yeah, in Scotland. I thought, <laughs> what? Should be then, cheaper, innit? Yeah. <laughs> then we booked another two flights, which is like another 300 pound. Wow. To go back the next morning at like six in the morning. You know? But then now I've got to pay the Gatwick charge because I've left the vehicle there overnight for time. And that, so I got to pay that as well. So I was pissed. I'm like, nah, this is a long, like, got back with him. Things was all a bit weird. So I rung the court up and I'm like, look, I've got, the co- I've got him. You give me my contact order. However, I'm not sending him back. I don't feel it's safe for me to send him back. So then they went through a whole rigmarole now where they sent out the order to her saying we're not sending him back, blah, blah, blah. So she's finally come back from Scotland because she's like, I've got to fight this now. I've lost my son. Like, they're not sending him back. Mm. So she finally come back, which then the court case started basically from there. But by then I'd already spent 10 months trying to find her in court and spent like 20 grand just trying to find her. Mm. I'm 20 grand now. So now yeah. the court case is just beginning. And I still got to spend the money. So I was like, yo. But then obviously I had the wedding booked. So I was paying for that. And it was like, yo, there's just stress in it. So went through that. Then I ended up going through all of that. Another six months or so of straight court cases every week. Every week, da 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 da. And then I won. Um, it was meant to be, I had full custody in it. And I had him living with me for a full living order, everything. Mm. And somehow, they managed to swap the judges on the very last hearing. So I had the same judge every hearing. Swear. And for some reason, went to the last hearing and they cancelled the hearing and said, now we got to book it in for the week later. Just so happened that week later, my judge wasn't in. Uh. So the judge that's been dealing with the whole case is now gone. They put some random guy in and he's looking at me like I am a dickhead. As soon as I walk through the court, he's like, nah, this guy must be a scumbag. Do you get me? But I'm there suited and booted. I'm looking fresh. Like, I'm like... And she come in like, yeah, I'm saying, I'm thinking, nah, bro, this, you're going to stitch me up. Yeah. But they, they give me 50-50. So I got all 50-50. She can't do nothing without my say-so, same as me. I can't do nothing without the say-so. So I was happy with that. Yeah. Most people don't even get that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah. like, bro, but in my eyes, I just spent 40 pounds, 40 pounds, and I still got the short end of the straw. 
yeah. while you're getting it for free missing court cases and, and you get me and it's like <laughs> bro if this was me i'll be in the proper shit like so i went through all of that and then i got it and then i had him living with me and then obviously it got to the point where she wanted him back so we had 50 50 and we come to an arrangement where obviously he'll spend the week while he goes to school with her and that and then he come to me on the weekends and that so oh, i just enough. compromised in it because it was just easier and it was less hassle and stress yeah fair enough. so yeah that that was that really the court case went on for time i spent a lot of days stressing arguing not only that my missus was pregnant at the time I was going through the court case. Yeah, a lot going on, man. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I couldn't. And when my son, when my other son was born, because I was going through that court case, it sort of pushed me from bonding with him because oh, right, right. it was I was more in the mind space of how can I bond with my son when I'm lost another son already. You yeah. get me? That's yeah. that was going through my. It was hard for me. It was like I don't want to start bonding with my new son because I feel like I'm letting down my my other son yeah do you know what i'm saying so it was a very hard situation like man went through a lot of pain and a lot of stress and a lot of bad things and i lost a lot of money man so yeah <laughs> it was Correct. peak it's it was lot, peak. Yeah. it was peak but it was um it was a good experience in in all mm. for the system though the way the system works with children do you, do you think it favors the woman yeah 100 percent, a million percent bro okay i could put that on a million percent i got friends that have been through the same situation after me because they've yeah. seen how well mine went but when i tell them that mine didn't go well they're like yeah but the outcome went well i'm like yeah but bro it didn't go well i went through hell like i stopped smoking i stopped like doing a lot of things bro because she was getting the court and the police to go through my shit and check through shit and did it i had to stop a lot of things bro like yeah, yeah. making money for a good time as well like it yeah. was peak so there was a lot of things I had to stop, but I, there was certain things I couldn't stop because if I stopped it, I wouldn't have been able to afford things and and pay for the court case and do yeah. things. Um, so yeah, it was hard. It was very hard to juggle a lot of things and 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 obviously a newborn and the wedding and everything at the same time. So yeah, it was it was mental, man. And obviously, I was only like twenty one. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's a lot it's yeah. mad isn't it it's <laughs> mad when you think about it like when i think when i say these things i feel like i'm 35 and that but i'm only 25 so it's a lot i went through a lot in a short space of time yeah. it made me grow up 10 years quicker than i should have yeah. and it, it's give man a good head of space and a good mind frame and when i look at certain things and certain people i know that the man uh, I know where I am and where they are, and it's like yeah, hundred. Yeah. But it's helped, man. You get it's me. The same stress you can go through, someone else won't be able to. Yeah, make exactly. It. And yeah. if if man can give advice to a lot of people, uh, when I speak to certain people and they ask me, like, uh, I'm happy to do that because if it's going to help you in your situation, then take that and deal with it and use it however you wish to. You get me? Mm. Because it's it's not easy. Like I don't wish it on no one to go through any of them things, even to go through them all at the same time. Yeah. It's a bit mad, but to go through any of them is just deep. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's good, man. It's 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 a good experience for me still. So.